All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, April 18th. It is set by Paul. Let's see what Paul has in store for us. Oh, and just a warning, I have a four-legged assistant with me today. If he uh, spots a squirrel outside, you may hear some barking. He is a great uh, security device as far as squirrels are concerned. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, immediately I see a lot of C something. Ooh, looks like 19 down. Yeah, encompasses 3, and 22 down encompasses 2. Uh, you may have heard me say before, I don't like when the ones you have to put together are out of order. Some of the setters manage to put them uh, one after each other, or one below the other, uh, which is much more pleasing. Anyway, let's see. Number of old Emil Zola volumes initialed Risky, circling those with stained finger. Oh my goodness, where to start with this one? The only thing that catches my eye that I think a fair idea is circling. I think maybe we're going to have a word for risky, which is going to go around... Does it go around those with stained finger? Or maybe just circling those, and the definition is with stained finger. Who has a stained finger? Um, a smoker, I suppose? Um, somebody who has voted in a country where they mark your finger after you vote? I don't know. And then what's the beginning number? Maybe the Definition is a number. Four five six dash four. Could it end in something like twenty dash four twenty five? Well, what would the four and five be? And then uh, Emile Zola. I think I only know Jacques. Um, volumes initialed. That might be telling us to use the initial letter. Is it volumes? Number of old Emil Zola. I don't, I don't think he had a telephone. I don't think they were invented, so we don't have to know his phone number. Oh my goodness, let's uh, try this one. Asian, traveling back through Jaffna in a rickshaw. Ah, okay, I think this one is a little more straightforward. It's a hidden clue, but it is put backwards before it's hidden. And so if we start with the I in rickshaw, we have Iranian, uh, which of course is considered Asia. How about country, girl, fills, silo? My first thought is it's going to be a seven-letter country, and we're going to put maybe a girl's name or a short word for a girl inside a short word for a si silo. Excuse me. What would be a word for a... Oh. Well, grammary. So maybe it's the other way around. Could it be a country... A girl fills it, and you get granary, but I don't see any country there, unless it's GR for Greece. And then ANA, -A, Anna, one spelling of a girl's name. And then, but then we have a railway, RY. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's granary, so let's clear that. All right, let's move on. Brother, one of the first to cushion blow, disheartened. Um, where's the definition? Possibly disheartened or possibly brother, because disheartened is sometimes used in wordplay. 
to remove the inner letters but I don't think it would be blow disheartened BW don't go well together uh, but so then if brother is part of the wordplay it could be BR the abbreviation or bro one of the first Could that be a reference to Adam and Eve? And, um, and then to cushion blow? No, I'm not seeing it. In test target splits. A test can sometimes be try. And do we put a word for target inside of that word for test? And we end up with Splits. Well, splits could be leaves. No, depart. Uh, no, it must be plural if, it, if that is the definition. Days gone by, certainly sad, without a listener. Uh, so here I think without is going to be that other meaning of the word we see in the crossword where it means something goes outside instead of being within another word it's without it and i'm thinking a listener might simply be ear days gone by might be the definition then something like um Oh, I can't think olden times or something like that. Certainly could be a sure. Sad could be blue. And I think I'm going to need some letters for this. A number of, oh, so we had a number here, we have a number here, uh, we have a number here and another number, so... Okay, it took me a while to spot. There is a uh, theme today. But let's start with this. A number of old pants on Guy and all fail. Uh, maybe they all are phrases that include a number. A number. So I'm thinking four, five, nine. Old pants. Is that an old word for pants or the letter O for old? Followed by pants, which of course could also be like my companion is doing, panting. Um, on guy if if that is the way i'm reading it then the definition would be a phrase meaning and all fail all fail like all for naught or um, none at something none in no, don't get it. On one's feet, standing for revolution. Ah, well, revolution makes me think we're going to reverse some word. Standing for... Oh, could that be standing for election? Standing for... But on one's feet, upright... Clapping. No, not saying it. Let's hope the uh, towns are a little uh, easier. Irish County. Well, this should be right up my alley. Grotty, reportedly. Wetter, suddenly. So is it an eight-letter Irish County? Um, well, Limerick, maybe? Uh, but I think a homophone for grotty and and then wetter suddenly. Ah, uh, so no, the 
the answer is wetter suddenly. So wetter in this case is something that would make people wetter and it would happen suddenly. The Irish county is down, a lovely county. And grotty, I think, is poor, which sort of sounds like poor, depending on your accent. Not, not in my accent, I think I say it would be poor form to poor. Anyway, uh, I think that may be it. We will see with the crossers. Award given to player on screen. Opener, doffing cap. Well, I'm wondering if the whole first phrase is the definition, an award given to a player, which could be an actor on screen, and could it be an Emmy? But then opener, doffing cap. No, I don't see how that would work. Of course, it could be an award given to a football player, some kind of sporting award. On screen opener, it could just be the S. And then doffing cap, is there a, another word for that? Tipping your cap? No. How about buzzer by means of buzzer? Let me pause and think about that. I have a feeling buzzer could, one of these buzzers could mean an insect, something that buzzes, and B is the obvious one. By means of buzzer. Uh, yeah, via something. Or could it be a word that begins B-E-E? -E? I can only think of a beep. Oh, beer, maybe? <laughs> beer gives you a beer buzz. Um, oh no, what am I talking about? It's six letters. Why did I, for some reason I had in mind it was four. I think I was still thinking about the previous one. All right, so buzzer then. Oh, yeah, maybe it is a beeper. Buzzer, and then by means of, could be purr. It seems a bit of a stretch, but we know we've seen uh, bigger stretches than that in the Guardian crossword. Okay, so 22 down now. That uh, second part is looking interesting. A number of old artists in a to-do maybe sozzled so it starts with two dash two dash two oh my goodness a number of old artists in a to-do maybe sozzled well sozzled uh don't they say one over the eight um Uh, so, th but the second part then is something B, something we, something or uh, maybe it's something phonetic, like la di da. Oh, I have, there cannot be too many words that are. Two, 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 do, re, mi. No, all right, let's go back to the downs. Islander fighting under pressure after evacuation of country. I think it's going to be an islander, so some nation, island nationality. Fighting goes under, a word for fighting goes under P for pressure, but that is all after the evacuation of country. So evacuation is like emptying, removing the inner letters. I was afraid it I would have to think of another country to evacuate, but I think it might simply be a country, 
So the CY and then the P for pressure, and I thought of a Cypriot, somebody from Cyprus, and the uh, fighting is a riot. All right, so now we do have... Yeah, I don't like this. We have to go 10, 25, and then 11. But the hyphenated word starts P something R. I don't think that's part of a... Part of, <laughs> excuse me, part of a number. Ah, something, something, a stained finger. No, not getting it back to the downs. Dropper of two jacks, the second picked up. Well, picked up can be a homophone indicator. And even though it says two jacks and the second picked up, I don't think that's referring to the second jack. I think it's just something that sounds like a second, which could be a sec or a mo, and it could be a homophone of those. What's a dropper? Is that as in uh, lab equipment or medical where you're using a dropper to get some liquid? Two jacks. No, I don't know that. I don't know when Solver has Setter trapped. <laughs> okay. I think the, the definition is going to be either I don't know or I don't know when. But playfully it might suggest the Solver, which is me, well, are you, I think, as far as Paul is concerned has the setter, who is Paul, trapped. Ah, of course, it could be a setter as in a dog. <laughs> I'm thinking of dogs a lot today. Um, no, not getting it. Seamen, following mobile unit, one after the other, Ah, uh, yeah, so I did when I read mobile unit, I thought it might be an anagram of unit. And if the first word has two letters, then either it or in, but one after the other suggests in turn. So it is that anagram of unit followed by the Royal Navy RN, who are the seamen. All right, slowly but surely. Language, that's popular remains in Chinese dynasty and India. All right, so I think it's going to be a language. I am immediately thinking, of course, and India suggests it might be a language from India, but I did think that might mean it ends in an I with this wordplay, since India is the phonetic alphabet word for I. And then I thought of Hindustani. Let's see if that works. Uh, so I think that's popular is in. And then remains. Ah, I think remains is dust. Dust to dust and all of that, which is inside of the Han dynasty. And finally, yeah, got that one, all right. Oh, this looks like uh, mother, bother. A number of old party mandarins originally unlike old PM. Oh my goodness. Uh, five to six five okay so the six we have three letters and the five the last five ends in n um an old pm could be brown um 
something something oh father brown the uh, great detective gk chesterton oh no it's oh something oh so it's uh <laughs> mother brown um oh downpour maybe is wrong but it seems possible all right, we'll uh, come back to that one. Like gutted halibut, fish in flat dishes. Well, gutted halibut, I think, could be like the uh, vacation and evacuation we had earlier. It might just be simply HT. Fish in flat. I'm wondering too if like at the beginning could be as like gut and then gutted halibut mm. ash oh are there some dishes that begin maybe Indian dishes that begin A S H T and then a f and then fish after halibut. Oh, how about ashtrays? Oh my goodness. Here I am trying to think of some very exotic food beginning A-S-H-T, <laughs> but it's simply ashtrays. I think calling them flat dishes is very misleading, but of course that's their job to be misleading. And yet, not so misleading you can't get it, and so the rays are the fish. All right. I should mention too my location today uh, I think is a little closer to the flight path and it's a very overcast day so you may hear more planes flying by than uh, you usually do. I'll try and uh, pause if there's particularly noisy ones uh, otherwise you can just enjoy it as uh, ASMR. All right, lazy O Nicks nicked um, I don't know, can lazy mean an anagram? Oh no, old Nix is only seven letters, what am I talking about? But, um, old Nick, well, why is it, um, O-L apostrophe? There has to be some reason for that. But uh, it's going past me at the moment. There was our mandarins. The grand old party, of course, is the GOP, the Republican Party. A number of old party mandarins. No, nope. uh, work with IT company after switching musical direction. Okay, I think the definition is going to be musical direction, something in Latin, and probably a, I think there's um, a tempo means to return to the previous tempo. Uh, but then how would this work with IT, IT company after switching? Um, ah, yes, it is actually my very first thought at Tempo. Um, so the work is OP, Opus, very appropriate for a musical clue. The IT company is Meta, the new name for Facebook. And backwards, we get a Tempo. All right, ooh. Nice 25 across, which is part of one of those long ones. Looks uh, very interesting. Oh, here's our number of old artists. Ooh. So <laughs> that um, something E, something Y, something me by, pass me by, be by. No, I'm not seeing it. 
How about green, where top leaves turn red? Oh, yeah. I can only think of tree, but... Yeah, I'm not... Uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing it. All right, well, let's look at uh, 10 then, which is going to be 10, 25, and 11. Uh, something penny. Number of old Emile Zola volumes. Initialed. Risky. Circling those with stained finger. Now let me pause and think about um, what else 25 across could be apart from uh, Penny. And then if it is Penny, what word would go before it? Not the Thropony Opera. Well, I wasn't getting very far with the uh, penny, uh, so I paid attention then to the 11 across. Um, I was thinking, oh, purple-blue. Um, but then I think I was thinking of the Emile Zola. Maybe he gets initialed. And uh, then a French phrase, parlez-vous, came to mind. And then I had to work out, well, what are these first two words? And it came to me, could be inky, pinky, parlez-vous, which um, I vaguely remember as a song. In fact, I would have said, if you asked me to sing it, inky, dinky, but apparently it is inky, pinky, parlez-vous. And the actual title is Mademoiselle from Armentier. Um... And so number, and I think this is going to be the theme today, these are actually song titles or lines from songs. So obviously the stained finger is the inky pinky. Um, ah, yes, yeah, so a risky is parlous, P-A-R-L-O-U-S, which circles or goes around the initials of Emile Zola volumes. And the definition is number of old, I think. So an old song, that is a very old song. All right, well, that gives us some good letters. Hopefully that's going to help us. Uh, I don't know when Solver has set her trapped. Uh, leave something or no, not seeing it. All right, let's try another number now that we think it, uh, or I think it might be old songs, a number of old, yes. So pants on guy and all fail. Um, yes, not seeing it. Um, Four two six pants on guy. No, not seeing it. All right, what's our other uh, number of the two other a number of old? Ah, so I think there might be an old musical song about. Ah, yes, knees up, Mother Brown, of course. Yes, of course, when I was a kid, my parents loved watching, um, oh, what was that old musical program on the BBC? I was never a fan of it. Um, knees up, Mother Brown, so let's see. Old, uh, let's see, Party Mandarins, originally... Unlike old PM. Oh, I think it's a party is knees up. 
uh, mandarins originally... Yeah, I'm not sure where the mother is coming from, and then brown is the old PM. Ah, no, of course, mandarins originally, I should have realized, is simply the letter M, the first letter of mandarins, and unlike is other. Ah, yes, of course. All right, so these are the old, um, what was the name of that musical? Uh, with, uh, what was the name of the guy? Leonard Sachs, was that the host? Uh, oh, and one was, wasn't there the old Bull and Bush? Ah, uh, but now this number is, um, this one with the hyphens. Yeah, it could be some sort of, like, phonetic words. Let me pause and think about it. Now, nothing is coming to me. Artists in a to-do may be sozzled. I wonder if it could be an anagram of, let's see, a to-do may be, a to-do may be. Let's see, that's uh, 10 letters. And we need another four. Which, oh, artist is often R-A, and if it's plural, I, I just suddenly occurred to me it could be ra-ra, and that um, gave it to me, ta-ra-ra-boom. Uh, let's see, what letters do we have to, we need a D. And then I think it might just simply be A. Tarara boom da. I think that's right. Oh boy, these songs are bringing me back. I feel sorry for any young person trying to solve today's crossword who didn't grow up hearing these. All right, how about uh, brother, one of the first to cushion blow, disheartened. Well, there can't be too many words that fit that. What could that um, be between the A and the U and then the U and the H? Well, the U and the H could be a G or a C. It almost looks like an Irish name, Callahan or... Hmm, well, I think I'm going to have to resort to wordplays.com which I know is cheating a little bit, but I cannot think of anything that matches those. Ah, yeah, I don't think I would have uh, thought of that word, a capuchin, which apart from being a monkey, is also a monk. Uh, the monks came first, right? They just thought the monkeys looked like the capuchins. Um, so that is a brother. One of the first to cushion blow disheartened I... yeah not um... i can only think of first to cushion is possibly the first c blow disheartened No, I'm not. So I'm going to have to look at 15 squared to understand that one. Ah, uh, let's see. Days gone by, certainly sad without a listener. Ah, uh, yesteryear would fit and would be days gone by. Certainly sad without a listener. Well, we do have an ear at the end. Ah, so it's, uh, boy, this is, uh, you really have to stop and think about this. Certainly is simply yes. Sad is teary, but it's without the letter A, so it's just T-E-R-Y. 
and then listener's ear yesteryear. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, on one's feet. Oh, I did think upright, but is there some other word? Oh, uprising, maybe? Ah, yes, yeah, so if you're on one's feet, you're up. If you're standing, I suppose, you're or standing for, you're rising. And a revolution is an uprising. All right, uh, what's that last number we have to get? Or did I get all of that? Oh, here we go. The, uh, the old pants and guy something... Rose of Tralee, no, um, no, need some more letters for this. Now the intest could be try, target. Oh, target could be aim. And then splits. No. Not seeing it. All right, what other ones? How about dropper of two jacks, the second picked up? No, gonna have to resort to wordplays.com for that, I'm afraid. Well, there are quite a few words that fit, but one that caught my eye was absailer, and I can see a Guardian cryptic crossword setter defining an absailer as a dropper. And then it begins with AB for an able bodied seaman. But then the second picked up would suggest there's another word for a sailor that might be going backwards. We do have the word relies going backwards after a b, and I suppose if, um, if somebody relies on somebody, no, I'd, I don't quite get that. I'm going to uh, use the check this button. It is correct, as uh, strange as it seems. All right, how about I don't know when Solver has set her trapped. Ooh, we could have a word like solve, but they wouldn't use solve in the answer when Solver is there. I don't know when. Oh, look at that first word B. Let me pause and think about it. Ah, yes, it's uh, one of those, the five letter word is actually has an apostrophe. I suppose it would just give the game away if they did three apostrophe two, but um, yeah, so I, I was on the right lines earlier. I should have followed that up where the solver is, as far as Paul concerned, you and setter is me. And so you've got me. I don't know. You've got me. But in this case, we have got Paul. All right. So now it's something of legend, Legano, um, a number of old pants on Guy, and all fail. No, I don't see it. How is our country girl doing? Um, could it be Britain? Oh, uh, yes, it is. A, a silo could be a bin. And the girl is Rita. And so the country was Britain. All right. How about lazy? Oh, Nick's nicked. Oh, I'm thinking of uh, indolent as a word that means lazy. And OL 
has been nicked or surrounded by indent, which I suppose could mean a nick and indent. All right, but intest, target, splits. Ah, so I think splits must be the definition. Um, but I can see how you could put end, which might be a target, the end in mind, oops, uh, inside of try. But how is trendy splits? Let's check it. It is right. I have no idea how splits is trendy. No. Nope. All right, a number of old pants on Guy and all fail. Uh, let me pause and think about that one again. No, I can't think of any word that would finish it other than legend, but I can't think of a song, a number of old, what would pants be on Guy and all fail? Could it end? Well, could there be an anagram? Ooh, maybe, yeah, maybe it is an anagram. Pants can maybe indicate an anagram, but um, no, I have a feeling it's going to be some funny word at the end other than legend. There's no D there, I think, for us to anagram. I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one. Uh, Lily of Laguna. Yeah, I don't know that one, but I think it is an anagram of on guy and all fail. Yeah, uh, very, very tricky. All right, uh, what's left? Uh, the award? Oh, this must be Emmy. On screen, opener, doffing, cap. I think it's some word where we remove the opener, but not seeing it. Uh, 15 squared hopefully will explain that to us. And now our green. Uh, green, of course, could mean untrained, young, green, where top leaves turn red. Um, no, ah, yeah, I had to think a while, but if um, some scenery is green, it might be lush, and we have to think of a word for turn red, blush, but the top leaves it, the first letter leaves it. All right, that is everything. Let's check all, uh, nothing dropped out, good. All right, let's check 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Menehi. Slow solve until the longer solutions started going in. Yeah, I think that was pretty much the case for me too. A number of old songs from the past. Oh, the surface of 23 across may also be a hint. What was uh, that? Ah, uh, yeah, songs of yesteryear. All right, I think I got Inky Pinky finally. Um... Oh yeah, so one of the first to cushion blow is Cain, one of the first, and it cushions a punch which has had its middle letter removed. Oh, that's very tricky. Uh, so in is the definition of here of trendy. Oh my goodness. And then they have a sort of, um, uh, what would you call it, a very roundabout way of stating that test is split by target. Very subtle to uh, just have the definition as in. I did not spot that. Um, and so pants is an anagram of, yes, on guy all fail. 
<laughs> poor, which sounds like poor. I'm sure there'll be some complaints about that in the comments. Ah, Jemmy is a crowbar used to force things open. And it has its first letter removed, its cap removed. I was right about buzzer being B and purr. Um, let's see. Oh, the second ab sailor is a homophone of SA. Oh, I don't know why I didn't spot that. I think just because it did spell relies backwards, I was fixated on that. Um, let's see, I think I got all of those. Let's see, knees up is a party. Oh yeah, plus mandarins, I did finally work that one out. And op and meta. <laughs> ra ra plus sozzled had to do maybe. All right. Um, left me with an unwanted earworm. I wonder which song that is. Tarara Bundie, maybe? Mm. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, of course, the, uh, the old minstrel show. That's not the one I was thinking of as a uh, musical. Anyway, uh, no one seems to be complaining about poor, poor. But um, anyway, all right, well, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope you have a wonderful day.